Hello Aries viewers. So today I'm going to be looking into your situation. I'm going to see what the story is regarding your love life. Now this could be an ex, a new person coming in. We'll just see how the cards play out. Let's see what the story is. I'm going to be looking into what your person's feeling, thinking, and um, wanting with you over the next couple weeks or so. What action they might be taking. So just show me the story. When it comes to Aries, what's the story here? What's going on with this connection? It's interesting energy. Okay. Oh. So we've got the Hierophant, the Devil, the Three of Swords reversed, Justice upright. Knight of Cups. I get very emotional energy. I'm in, I'm in Aries too, and I feel like whenever I, cha the past couple months when I channel, it's always just so emotional. It's always with this person or multiple people. It's always just this, um, like this love story. It's just, it's a very like romantic, very vulnerable, very emotional energy I get from this group. So we've got the Knight of Cups, the Six of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles reversed, and then we have the Moon. So I think the story here is that you are really crying out for someone because see, like I said before, I even started pulling the cards. I'm like this energy that I've been consistently channeling for this group. It's just very emotional. I feel like there's a lot of, of, I feel like this year you've been kind of on a roller coaster with your emotions and there's just been a lot of emotional, vulnerable, life changing energy with, with this group of Aries that I've been channeling. So the cards I'm seeing now make sense. So I think the story is that you were really crying out for somebody for a long time and they were not hearing you. It's like you were in love with this person and you were trying to get this person's attention. Um, could be a family member or a friend that you really loved and it's like they were just kind of not seeing you, like they were making you feel invisible, taking you for granted. For, so for some it's a family member um, that you were trying to get their attention, but for the majority, I feel like it's probably a soulmate or a twin flame, and you were very aware of this connection, of this, um, this psychic bond, this spiritual bond, this emotional, mental bond. You were, you were very aware of that energy. You were very aware of how real the connection was, and it's like they were kind of just making you feel invisible, like they didn't really fully understand or acknowledge the nature of the connection. But I feel like your energy has been moving away from them a little bit, and they're going to, I think they're coming close to noticing that and having this epiphany and realizing what they had with you or what they could have had with you and realizing what they lost, you know, I think that they took you for granted or maybe they just had so much drama or so much going on in their life or maybe they were hung up on an ex or had some other stuff going on and so it's like they might have been like a third party situation where it's like there's just some reason why they couldn't acknowledge you and couldn't didn't notice the nature of the connection but it's like you were just kind of old reliable in a way. You know, like they loved you, don't get me wrong. I feel like there was love, mutual love there, but I just feel like they didn't, I feel like your feelings were very deep for them and they weren't able to be there at that time. They had other stuff going on in their life that was distracting them or just confusion in general. There was just some type of energy that was kind of just blocking them from fully, um, it's almost like they had this blindfold on and it's like you were well aware of the nature of the connection. You were aware of the past life connection of the bond, of the love that was there, of the potential that was there. You know, you were really giving your heart to this person and it's like, I don't think they fully realized you were giving their heart to them. I don't think they fully realized how much you loved them, how much you were trying, um, how deep the connection is. I don't think that they acknowledged or understood the depth and the complexity and the intensity of this connection before. I think they kind of put it on the back burner and they kind of focused on their busy schedule or their um, their job or work or, you know, a third party situation, um, that kind of energy, basically, where they, they just had these distractions going on. But I feel like since your energy has kind of been pulling away, you're going to get justice and this person is going to um, not want to lose you. They're not going to take you for granted the way that they have been, I feel. With the Hierophant and the Devil here, 
So with the devil, I feel like you were really trying to get this person's attention and you might have started doing it in more negative ways because you were so tired of like not being heard by this person. It's like you were if you try to reach out or you try to do it and try to talk in a gentle way, it's almost like I think you just kind of reached a breaking point. You you got tired of that. You wanted a deeper connection with this person. You wanted more from this person. And so I think you reached this breaking point where maybe you tried to get their attention in more intense, toxic ways. I don't know if I'd say toxic, but just more intense ways. Like you tried to get louder, basically. You know, your energy, your emotions, your your the state you were in, your mental state got louder because you were trying to get their attention more. You were trying to get them to focus on you and focus on the connection and see the nature of the connection the way that you were seeing it. You know, you were aware of the past life connection. You were aware of the love that was there. You might have been aware of, aware of some things psychically too about the connection. Like maybe some had some like channeling or had some psychic insight regarding this connection and you were trying to show them that, but they weren't like hearing you. They weren't understanding you. They weren't listening to you. And so you got really loud. This could be like drinking. Maybe you started drinking because you were in so much pain trying to get their attention um, or doing drugs or like just toxic addictions. It could be anything. It could be gambling. It could be any number of things. Um, it could be overworking. It could be in just any type of um, negativity that was kind of bogging you down a little bit. It's like, it's almost like trying to communicate in more subtle ways didn't work or the small talk or the hints or whatever else didn't work. And it's like you had so much love to give that was just being ignored and neglected and it just all came out in such a loud way in such an intense way at a certain point because you just reached that breaking point. So I think, I think you got tired of being old reliable. I think you got tired of being the nice guy or the nice girl. I think you got tired of being taken for granted. You got tired of being the one that was always there, the shoulder to cry on. Um, you got tired of... of of being ignored and neglected and whatever else um so it's like you kind of just went with this devil energy where you're like screw everything and it's almost like you might have gotten to like a self-destructive energy because you're like how, how do i explain this like because you're being taken for granted so much it's like you put yourself in this this devil kind of self-destructive energy where you're like, you know what, if you want me, come find me. If you want me, come get me. Come bring me out of this darkness if you want me. But I'm not going to come out of this darkness on my own. You know what I mean? I'm tired of the pain. I'm tired of being taken for granted. I'm tired of being ignored. I'm tired of, of feeling this way. I'm tired of feeling invisible, basically. I'm just tired of feeling invisible. I think you wanted to change that whole um, that situation you were in where it was like the the runner chaser basically you know it was always about their drama their problems and you, and you were kind of being the one that was trying to be there for them I think you pulled back and you're like you know you got in this devil energy where you're again just just destructive kind of energy where it's like you're trying to change that situation where it's like they have to come to you they have to you're not the strong one anymore you're you're refusing to be the strong one you're refusing to be the one that keeps everything to, to together you're refusing to be the one that um you're refusing to be old reliable basically and it's it's like you want to be found by this person you know you want them to to find you in this darkness you want them to to really be forced to look at this connection you don't want to just be in survival mode anymore so i think you know you giving up and you you know, if this is drinking or partying or drugs or just um, general self-destructive energy, it's like you're not strong. You're not like, you're not, I mean, you're not being, you're not just surviving anymore. You know what I mean? Like you're not holding on anymore. You're not, or this could be past or re recent past too, where it's like you're not holding on anymore. You're not just surviving anymore. And it, it's kind of changed the nature of this connection where it's like, it's just a very emotional, chaotic energy. I do want to say, because for those of you, I kind of, I get the stories that I'm, I'm being shown here. I, I do. Um, and even though it is kind of, it did work in your favor, I know that it was probably wasn't intentional. I think that you were just so, again, just so tired of being taken for granted, so tired of just 
not being her that it's like you just broke you just couldn't be the strong one anymore you couldn't just survive anymore it's like you were holding everything together for so long you were just constantly just you just got so tired you know you got so so exhausted and so tired of all of it and you felt so alone I think that you just snapped you know like I said it might not have been a conscious thing it might have just been like you know what you don't like the nice sweet version of me you're gonna you're gonna ignore me you're gonna hurt me then I'm gonna be you know this other person and you're gonna miss the person I used to be and you're not gonna get it back you know it was it's that kind of energy or you're gonna get you're only gonna get it back if you fight for me and you finally acknowledge and recognize this connection and recognize the nature of this connection um I do want to say though because I know this story because I I am myself I mean I channel since I'm an Aries when I when I do your readings I'm in that same energy usually a lot of times I don't even know it so sometimes I'll do an Aries group reading and then I'll come back to it like a week or two later and it's something that like just happened to me you know what I mean like I might channel that like new love is coming in and then like a couple weeks later new love will come for me and like I'll, I'll notice new love is also coming in your lives as well it's that it's that kind of thing where it's like it doesn't always resonate right away, but it, I usually, if I come back to my own Aries readings, since I'm in this group, it usually does resonate for me. Um, and I, 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 I'm resonating with this reading now a lot, and I have been resonating with these readings that I've been doing since I'm in that group. But I just want to say, be really careful with the devil energy, with the self-destruction, because with that darkness, it, it can get, it could get too dark. You know what I mean? It could get, um, whether it's drinking or drugs or gambling or whatever it is that you're doing that's self-destructive or you've been doing just if and if you're coming out of this energy like I'm just starting to just be careful because I just want to say since this is my story too I was just recently I don't know why I'm being led to share this but I was just recently in this devil energy where I was you know kind of crying out for the people I thought were my soul family, um, particularly the people I thought were my soul parents. And that, that pain and that rejection and loneliness I felt from the silence and just that emotional unavailability from them, it, it, it got so loud that it, it just, it got very chaotic. And it's like, I think I was trying to get their attention without even realizing I was fully realizing I was doing it. And it just got louder and louder. And um, I just went on this very serious downward spiral where I was, you know, drinking all the time. You know, I wasn't really myself. I think I was kind of just trying to see whether I was conscious of it or not. I think I was just trying to... And I'm saying this because I think... I'm, I don't know why I'm being led to say it, but I guess some of you might resonate with it. Maybe some of you are in this energy too. But I was just, it was almost like deliberately going down a darker, darker path. It was like everything was getting darker every day. Everything was getting more intense. I was drinking more heavily every day. The self-destruction was getting worse and worse every day. I was just kind of, it's, it's like some part of me wanted to see who cared and who didn't. It's like I wanted to see who would notice, who would reach out to me, who would say something, you know, who would be there for me, who would try to break through. It's like I just wanted to be protected and loved you know and I, I wanted to really see who cared and so it's like it was like this intense way of challenging people and seeing you know who would show up and who would reach out who would put their pride aside and reach out to me in my darkest hour and um I'm just putting that this out there because you know like I said that pain that I was feeling and that intensity it kept getting darker and darker and I was feeling extremely suicidal too and some part of me just kind of clicked I think the past week or two and I just kind of started realizing you know I'm destroying myself and crying out and screaming out for this person or for these people um, for in my case you know for a lot of you it's probably a significant other but for me it was like this it was you know the people I thought were my soul parents and my soul group in general and it's like I'm I'm screaming out for these people that don't actually really care. They don't actually really notice. They don't talk to me. They don't reach out. Um, 
And I, I think I just full I just the past week or two I've kind of just started embracing. It's like it's there's no more tears left to cry. You know what I mean? I'm like this these people aren't there. They're not. And I it clicked for me. I'm like these people couldn't possibly be my soul group. Like these couldn't possibly be my soul parents because I've connected with my soul group on and off my entire life since I was a kid I was aware of them I felt their energy I would telepathically communicate with them ever since I was young and I feel their energy and it's it's very strong and I like I said I've been telepathically communicating with them for a while and I'm like you know what my real soul group wherever they are they wouldn't leave me alone they wouldn't hold on to their pride they wouldn't be emotionally unavailable or distant or too busy um like they would want me they would love me they would be there nothing would stop them from being in my life you know what I mean and it just kind of clicked I'm like I'm killing myself for I'm in so much pain and I'm destroying myself for these people that don't love me that don't see me that don't understand me and and I've kind of started coming to the conclusion the past week or so that these people probably aren't even my soul group you know, because the energy I have felt astrally and telepathically over the last decade or two, it's, it's, it's very strong, it's very empathetic, it's very loving, and it's very different from the energy I get from these people in the physical world. So I don't I think I was wrong about them being my soul group. Um, I think I must have been. I, I, yeah, I can't understand any other. Um, anyway, I don't know why I'm telling you guys that story. I usually don't talk about my own personal life. I don't know why that's coming out in this reading. That's really weird. So I'm sorry to get too deep and dramatic. I think I just wanted to put that out there for you guys because I know that um, just for those of you that are in there, that energy where it's like you're just noticing these certain people or this certain person and you're not noticing the people around you. Like I've kind of been noticing the people around me more, like the people that do message me, the people that do check up on me, the people that do read and respond to my posts and like my posts um, on social media, the people that do let me know how they feel you know, the people that are emotionally available with me that are open with me it's like I took them for granted because I was so focused on these other people that weren't even weren't there for me at all and didn't understand me and didn't know me um and lately I've been kind of noticing the people that actually love me and I've been matching energy more and so I think I just maybe in sharing that story just to remind you to do that. Like, don't get caught up so much on this other person. Well, a couple of reasons I'm sharing it, I think, is, you know, don't get caught up so much that you neglect the people that are actually there, the people that you can be yourself around, the people that just love you and see you and want you when you're just being yourself and not just, you know what I mean? It's like, why do you have to, why did you have to get to this point to get this person's attention? Like, why did you have to get in this energy this devil energy to get this person to finally notice you and stop taking you for granted. You know what I mean? Like, why were you just old reliable before? And I'm not saying that this isn't a deep, true connection because I think for a lot of you, this is a twin flame or soulmate connection and they just had a lot going on in their life and they didn't see it. So that, that is possible for a lot of you. But I just want to say like, don't neglect the people around you that do actually care and do actually love you and want you in their life. You know what I mean? Like, take some time to appreciate the people that are trying to be in your life. Um, don't get into this situation where it's like you're chasing the people that are not there and you're neglecting the people that actually are there for you and actually do love you, you know? Um, you know, that's kind of where I've been, where I'm, I'm matching energy now and I'm really starting to notice the, friend, the people that are consistent in my life. And I also just want to put that out there as a warning because, like I said, I really resonate with this energy. And it's like I was going down such a dark path that it's like I, you know, I'm lucky to have survived that. I'm lucky to have gotten out of that. So I'm, I just want to put that warning out there. Don't let it get too dark. Don't let it don't let yourself if you're if you are this could be past energy. But if this is current energy, don't let yourself go down that path of whether it's you know, toxic, possibly deadly behaviors like alcohol or drinking or whether it's just self-destruction, like closing your heart, trying to be somebody other than what you are, trying to be kind of hard and cold and not let people in anymore, whatever, like don't lose yourself for this person, whether it's 
risking actual physical death. Um, if I mean, you would know if it was. Like, if you're doing self-destructive things, you would be aware of that energy already. Or whether it's just, like, mental, emotional death, where it's like you're becoming somebody that you're that you're not genuinely, that you don't genu genuinely want to be. You know what I mean? Like, you're becoming somebody that's hard and cold and not open. And it's, it's like you have to, it's almost like you had to be that person to get this person's attention. So I'm just saying, like, don't lose yourself. Don't don't die over this person don't um don't become hard and cold and become somebody else for to get this person back you know is basically what i'm saying is just be really careful because for this group you know since i resonate with it that darkness that double darkness it can get really really dark and really destructive quick so really be careful and safe with that don't let it get too dark um you have already gotten this person's attention. So whoever this is, like they are already coming back around. For some of you, I'm sorry for, I don't know why I went on off like that, but I guess I think some of you, again, not all of you will resonate with that, but I think a couple of you are probably that are in this energy probably needed that warning. There's probably one or two people that were like watching this that needed to know about that, that needed to know like, hey, I better watch this energy because I don't want to go off the deep end too bad. I don't want to come... I don't want to go to this point where it's like I can't find myself again, where I can't come back to myself. You know what I mean? This person's not worth that. They're not. Um, so for some of you, yeah, it was just your pain was getting really loud. Um, but you've gotten to this point with the Three of Swords reverse where it's like there's just no tears left to cry. Like you're just all cried out. You're just, you know, you're just kind of done with that. You're, you're not entertaining this anymore. You're not doing that to yourself anymore for this person for whatever reason. For some of you with the Hierophant here, I feel like this could speak about a connection that's um, like a karmic connection. That's a karmic connection that's kind of controlled. It's not really a very fun connection. It would be more of like a controlling situation, um, kind of traditional relationship. It's, it's kind of like a it's like stable but it's boring you know what i mean it's like it's not really passionate it's not really all that romantic it's just kind of like a karmic typical relationship there's no real depth there's no real romance no real emotion there and that could be the devil energy for some of you so that could be like the second story for some of you um you know possibly settling for a karmic because you couldn't have the person that you wanted but it's like they see you settling with the karmic or they just see this this energy whatever it is and it's like you kind of just gave up on it you kind of just you know you got you're getting yourself out of this devil energy you're not crying you're not in this still self-destructive energy anymore and i actually think that's when justice comes in it's like they're not this this can get darker and darker and louder and louder and i know from experience but they're, they're still not going to see it it's it's like they only it's 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 like when you start giving up and you're just kind of all cried out and you're kind of starting to move on with your life then um you have justice coming in i think this is quick energy too because it's like they're kind of realizing that their abundance um their success it's with you they're they're opening it's like they have this epiphany you know it's like justice comes in and someone starts seeking the truth someone starts seeing starts listening to what you were trying to tell them, you know what I mean? I feel like maybe you were trying to tell them, um, like, something spiritual or psychic, like, that you tried to tell them that they ignored, like, maybe you told them that, they, that you guys are twin flames, or maybe you told them this is, like, a soulmate connection, or that it's a past life connection, or something to do with past lives, like, you told them something that they ignored, and it's, like, they're kind of seeking the truth now, and really listening to that, and listening to what you've said, and taking it more seriously and it's kind of like they maybe they got rejected by their own karmic if you're twin flames and you could be mirroring each other and they might have a karmic situation they've been entertaining and they might be kind of starting to let that go now too and it's like they're they're kind of clearing your absence i think that the fact that you're not giving them your energy anymore it's like you're kind of just all cried out like you're not there for them when they need you anymore you're not so reliable anymore it's like they miss that they're realizing they took that for granted and so you have this justice coming in where they're starting to seek out the truth they're starting to really think about what you said they're, they're starting to seek out the nature of this connection they're, they're starting to have these epiphanies and trying to figure out the nature of this connection and um you know just seeking this this 
it's this the justice coming in basically and so they're opening their heart to you do i feel this i feel like they're gonna they're realizing they messed up they're gonna realize they took you for granted too much um they're gonna want that connection back especially if it's a twin flame connection you know because that can really scare people so they might have been settling for the karmic or you might have been settling for a karmic and they're like you know what i don't want to settle for this karmic anymore i want it's very emotional it's just very emotional energy i get here where it's like you know i don't want to settle for this karmic anymore i want to be open-hearted i want to um pursue this i want to pursue this past life connection this this true love you know this is where my abundance lies I feel like the energy is coming in very quick too because with the eight of pentacles reversed the eight of pentacles upright that, that would be like a muse it'd be like an apprenticeship something that you'd have to concentrate on something you'd have to it, you'd have to persevere there'd have to be a lot of patience with that but with it being reversed i feel like i think that they know you're out of patience i think that's partly what it's saying with the knight of cups like they're aware that you're not feeding this anymore like you've given up on this connection for the most part not completely like you still have love for this person but you're like you're not destroying yourself for them anymore you're not crying for them anymore you're not you're not in this devil energy anymore where they just mean so much to you you know what i mean like you're trying to focus on the people that actually love you the people that are actually there for you you're trying to focus on um you know romantically on like new potential suitors or could be even settling for a karmic like i said but it's like you can't be yourself with this karmic you're not necessarily happy with them but it's like you're just not what you're not willing to give this person your energy anymore you're not willing to keep hurting over this you're not willing to keep being taken for granted and so i think with that when they this person comes in with these epiphanies and and starting to seek the truth out and starting to go deeper astrally or telepathically to, to look into this connection um with eight of pentacles reversed i think that they're aware that you're out of patience i think that they're aware that you're not giving this energy anymore you know what i mean so i think they're aware that they kind of have to come in quick here and i think they're wanting to come in quick too i think once they have these epiphanies once they realize holy shit like this is a twin flame connection this is a true love connection this is um whatever it might be you know what i mean i think once they have these realizations um it, it's going to be fast moving for you guys i feel where they're you know it's i do see that happening for you guys so the moon yeah this is also them using their intuition i feel again you know lots of psychic energy here lots of telepathic past life psychic energy here i'm going to get a few cards really quick for a message king of cups eight of wands king of wands Ooh, interesting okay i think this person is also realizing that you could have anyone you want you know it's like before you were kind of old reliable and now it's like they're kind of recognizing like look at this person she's like free-spirited she's open she's like loving she's different but she's like she's free-spirited she's um creative she's different she's just she's very unique you know she's very energetic she's very passionate um and they're kind of appreciating this energy energy more and they're also realizing you've got the king of cups and the king of wands these are like the two best kings you can get here and you have that energy around you so it's like this person is recognizing um just that you could have pretty much anyone that you want they're realizing that you're um just what kind of person you are they're realizing what they're losing out on and they're really appreciating you more so it's, it's really good energy overall um so i wish you guys luck and let me know how that resonates and if i if this resonates with you please go ahead and subscribe to me thank you guys for watching